What's up, friends, Star Wars fans, and fellow action figure collectors? Danimal here, giving you guys a Star Wars action figure vehicle review. And today up for you, I have Ezra Bridger's speeder bike. Now, this speeder bike is released in uh, quarter one of 2016, and I purchased it from my local Target for $19.99. Now, the set includes Ezra Bridger's bike, a updated, uh, you can call it Season 2, Ezra Bridger figure, uh, which also includes his lightsaber, which now features a removable blade. So we have our first ever Ezra Bridger lightsaber hilt. To show you some of the features of this set, both the handlebars and foot pegs are adjustable, so a full-size figure besides just Ezra can actually ride the bike, which I think is pretty awesome. And the back portion of the bike is an opening storage compartment, which has a few nifty features, which I'll show you a little closer. And inside the storage compartment on the back of the bike, we have a spot for Ezra's hilt, and along the walls are little slots basically for an E11 blaster rifle. So, possible future repaint Imperial speeder bike? We shall see. And I'd like to thank Rich from uh, Star Wars Modern Figure Collectors for pointing out that tidbit about the E11 blaster to me. And the icing on the cake with this vehicle? A spot on the bottom to clip the lightsaber blade. The included Ezra figure sports an updated portrait, which has his scars on the side of his cheek suffered at the hands of the Inquisitor at the end of uh, Season 1. He has new pouches sculpted onto his sides, including a hook to hang his new uh, saber blaster hilt. So my final thoughts on the set, I think it's pretty great. I really like the weathering that they have applied to certain areas of the bike. Pretty nicely done. I think the rebel symbol on the back is very nicely applied. Uh, the Ezra Bridger figure that is included is definitely a nice update to the previously released one. And I think the selling point for me really was the saber hilt. Personally, I'm really into figures that have saber hilts, especially when you can actually attach them in some way to the figure. So let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments below. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for future diorama videos. I got a bunch coming at you soon. And uh, as always, may the Schwartz be with you.